Brown from LydiaJBrown.com and today is day 24 of my 45 day video challenge. I found a really nice tool called Boomerang that you can use with Google Chrome. It's an extension, an app that you can add and it I find it works wonderful for people who don't have it in their budget to have an autoresponder like GetResponse or Aweber. And as a matter of fact, I use Aweber and I still found this tool to be beneficial. So let me show you. First of all, this is what the site looks like. And I'll put the link down at the bottom in the About section. And it'll say this, you'll see this big red button, Install Boomerang. It's real easy. The instructions are simple. You might get a message to allow pop-ups for this. And I'll show you why in a few minutes. But this is the site. So right now, Gmail is set up that when you type a message, the only option you have is to send. You send your message immediately. So what I found with using Boomerang is when I click to compose a message, I have the send now option as well as now I have the send later option. Now when you, I'm going to type a test message to myself. And if I want to send this later, I'll click send later. And you'll find that you'll have send an hour, two hour, four hours, tomorrow morning, in two days. You can type in a specific day and a time. You can pop up the calendar, pick your day, pick your time, and then you just click confirm. You also, this is real neat, click this little button down here where it says boomerang this in two days. Now the reason you want to do this and what boomerang means is after an action is taken by the person you sent the email to or an inaction, you can have this message pop right back to your inbox to let you know. Now you can set this to boomerang back to you in two days, four days, weeks, same options like you had for when you wanted to send it. You can also say on what terms do you want this message to boomerang. If the person doesn't reply to you, if the person doesn't open the email, if the person doesn't click it, if there's no, um, you, you, you could put regardless, I want a reminder. So maybe you want to be reminded that, okay, it's been four days, I want to call the person. What did you think about my proposal? Maybe you, if the person, um, didn't open the message, you want to call them and say, um, I did send you the material that you requested. Perhaps it ended up in your spam box. I haven't heard from you. What's a good time? We can call. Uh, are you available? It's really better to say, are you available Wednesday at such and such time? You know, instead of giving them the option of him and horn by leaving it open, can we get together? So that's really neat. You can use that or not use it. And then over here in the corner, request read receipt and track clicks this little question mark here you just click it and in the email a message the sender has requested a read receipt if you do not wish to provide one click here so maybe they don't want you to know they read it okay whatever reason but that's a good way for you to uh, kind of trigger a response so you can do that now when you send a message later and you confirm when you go to your sent emails, that message won't be there until it actually goes out. You also could have hit send now and have set up your boomerang. So by uh, having the send later button doesn't mean you lose your option to send the email immediately. The send later kind of works because um, maybe you're typing at 6 in the evening and you don't want it to get lost in all the emails that are going to be arriving in a person's inbox between evening and first thing in the morning and you can tell send later to send it out at 6 or 7 a.m. Another great feature I like is here's a message that I sent earlier and if you notice here's the boomerang box here I click that and it says return conversation to inbox I might want this to go right back in my inbox because I want to um, remind myself when I go to my inbox that there's an action to be taken. So I'll say, well, 
is sent, send it back to my inbox at such and such time. You put a time and a date, what have you. It's great for not having a bunch of um, little pieces of paper hanging around. And you'll also say, reschedule, return it now, don't return. You might want to send that same message out again. You click reschedule, it's going to ask you, well, when? Only if there's no reply, a date, you can cancel it if that's what you want to do. Okay? All right. So you just check all your, your options, and it's just really easy peasy. So now, I want to just show. When you click boomerang, you can also click this little box up here. See, it says add note, and you can add a little note that you can refer to later. Call Lydia about proposal um, two days from now. And if you're working several different businesses, um, you can say, just as a reminder to yourself what you sent them, I could say, uh, let's just make up something. I'm not with this company, but I, uh, Ambit, Ambit Information, okay? And click Save. And you can refer back to that later because if you work at several different uh, affiliate programs or you have more than three business ops, it would be a good idea if you're sending out a lot of emails to know what information you did uh, sent to that person. I like it because it helps eliminate all the little notes on the side. I also think this is perfect for someone who cannot, like I said, afford an autoresponder because you can set up these messages and copy and paste your message and have it send out later to a bunch of people. I, I do advise that you always have a message at the bottom of your email that says to unsubscribe, hit reply and type remove in the subject line. But of course, I would love to have you stay, in, you know, love to stay in contact with you. Something like that, that's required. You must let people know they have a way to opt out of being uh, bothered by you. Some might see it that way or receiving information from you. So please don't forget to have that in your emails. If you were using an autoresponder, there would automatically be an opt out clause. So you need to create one. So also, I use an autoresponder. But I like this because there are some people who are not on my list of my autoresponder, but they found me on Facebook or other places where I have my email address, and they contact me, ask about information. They don't want to be on the list right now. I always send them a message to respond to their questions. I also give them a way to opt in. I give them instructions on how to actually get on my list because that's where I really would want them. But I stay in contact with people this way. You know those folks who find me that way and give them my information until they say well um, no I don't want to receive any more information by following these instructions at the bottom and that have that has really happened I've gotten leads using this I've gotten um, phone calls from people following up through these emails so you just need to set up your message, copy and paste it from Word, set up a series. Um, if you look at one of my other videos, I'll show you how to do canned messages you can use so that you're not always copy and pasting. So this is the tool. Check it out. If you have any questions, contact me. How to find me is listed below as long as the, uh, along with the address for Boomerang. And please do subscribe to my list. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.